So hey guys, welcome to your channel Travel with Make and I'm standing at University of Pisa Management and Economics Department. Pisa, the city of science, art and passion. Pisa comes under Tuscany region which Tuscany is home to world's most notable wine region. Pisa is famous for the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Pisa has one of the oldest university in all over the Europe. So guys, University of Pisa was founded in 1343. University of Pisa has 20 different departments. It has 17 libraries and it has 13 museums. Uh, and it's not like that University of Pisa has only this location, but it has spread in all over the Pisa. They have different departments at the different places. So, so today we are standing in that place where there was a very famous Galileo Galilei and with this place, they completed their education. So University of Pisa is a public university and it ranks, ranks 353 in 2021 in QS ranking and it is 7th in all over the Italy. So here Navita E comes here, bus number 4 comes here and lamp there comes here. There is a department of Informatica, or data science. There is the physics department. Where this is the computer science department physics department and in front is the mathematics department okay so you won't have a single class for you I mean depends upon which subject you're going to study so every time your classroom will change and University of Pisa is also famous for their physics for their mathematics for their computer science uh, which also include the data science course and data science course uh, is like more of more of the people nowadays they're preferring data science and want to be the data scientist Again, one thing you will see in the university, lot of unclaimed bicycles. You can see what happened to those bicycles. People take the tires, they take the seats and it's like, from here. Okay, if we can just do a sneak peek inside. Yeah, you can see from here, right? A little bit at least. About the fees and all, okay? So, uh, the recently updated is the fees is around 2400 euro per year, and these you, this you have to pay in four different installments. But the first installment will be around 350 euros. If you have applied for the DSU scholarship, uh, then you will have a later date. I mean, once your results will be announced, later you will come to know you have to pay the fees, so you don't have to pay the fees. To pay the fees is very easy. You will go to your portal and you, you will see that they will be gen they will be generating the automatically your fees. You can see what are the fees that you have to pay. Click and you will pay from there. So you don't have to go to any particular office to pay the fees, okay? Uh, now about the fees. So fees will be reduced depending upon your economic conditions and your merit also. Uh, so basically, you can also avail the zero tuition fees through DSU scholarship you will get around 1400 euro in cash and you will have free accommodation and you will have free two-time food okay so you have to pay nothing and plus the zero tuition fees and then there is another scholarship other than this regional scholarship it's the UNIP scholarship provided by University of Pisa in which they will give you 6000 euro so basically this is a merit scholarship so you don't have to give a separate application for that but mostly the deadline is by 15th March you will just evaluate your CV your motivation letter your your marks and your resume these things they will evaluate you will qualify for merit or no you will come to know another ways to have less fees not the zero fees is through your easy value okay so once you will come here you will make your easy you verificato document with your income documents what you make same for your scholarship with that documents when you will submit your easy automatically your fees will be reduced. यहाँ पे आपको कुछ भी service की जरूरत होगी, like student ID card बनाने कुछ भी पूछना हो, आप इस area में आ सकते हैं. So guys, thank you so much for watching Travel with Make. Till the time, ciao ciao, bye bye.